Hey guys and welcome back. In this video I will show you the complete and step by step guide to integrate Google sign in to your react application. So let's get started. So I have created a new react app using Vite and I am having a simple react Google login text inside the return of my app.jsx file which means I will be getting this on my browser. Now in case if you are not familiar with creating a new react application please watch this video at the top first and then come back to this video. Anyways we are ready to implement Google login. First of all we need to install a package and this is the package that we are going to install. It is released just recently and it has been used by more than 100k developers all over the world. It provides a nice Google sign in button that comes with the package itself. Also we can create a custom sign in button as well. I will show you both ways to integrate Google login in this video. So make sure to watch this video till the end. First of all I will close my app and let's paste this command in the terminal to install the package. Once it is installed, just go to your package.json file to confirm the installation. So there you go, I have this package successfully installed. Next we need to get the Google API client ID. Don't worry, I will show you the complete procedure. So just navigate to your browser and visit cloud.google.com. Here just log in with your email account and once you are done, just click on console button next to your profile. If this is your first time, you will be shown this window. Here you can switch to different account as well. I will simply agree to all terms and click on continue. Now click on select a project and then new project. Enter the project name. I will write react google login and create the project. Wait for it to finish and once the project has been created, just navigate to the APIs and services and then OAuth consent screen section. Choose external and create the consent screen. Provide the app name as react google login and provide a support email. Also add your developers contact email here as well. Click on save and continue. And then skip adding scopes for now. Add test users. Save and continue to get a summary. Go to credentials and create credentials. Choose web application as the application type. Enter a name. I will write react google login here as well. And then add javascript origins here. Make sure to add both localhost and localhost port 3000. Also if you are planning to host your site to production, make sure to add your domain here as well. Otherwise it will not work. Click create to get the client id. Copy the client id as we will need it in a moment. So now we have successfully created our client id. Next we need to write the code to display a google sign in button. But before that we need to wrap our entire app with google oauth provider. So I will go to the root file of my app and import google oauth provider at the top using the package that we have just installed and I will wrap this around my entire application and pass my client id as prop to this. Now we can access this client id from anywhere in our application. Next I will import google login from react oauth library in my app.jsx file and I will use this inside my return. It will accept two props as on success and on error. Both of them are using callbacks so on error we can simply simply console.log login failed whereas on success we can console.log the response. I will call it credential response. So if I run my app using npm run dev command. It will show a beautiful google login button. Now if I open my console tab here in the browser and if I click on login with google button, it will show us all the gmails which are currently being used. I will simply select any of these. Now we are getting our response in the console. And also the button is dynamically changed to show the name and email of the user who has logged in. Which in this case is me of course. So how cool is that? And if I look at the response, we are getting an object 
select with credential client ID and select by key value pairs. Now credential here is very important as it consists of all the data. Now it is encrypted right now. To get the data from credential, we will be using a package called as JWT decode. Just copy the command, paste in your terminal and install. Once the installation completes, verify the installation. After that, let's import the package at the top of our app.jsx file. Now here when we are getting the response on success, let's put our response inside JWT decode function. But as we need credential, so I will write credential response dot credential. And let's print this instead of just credential response. Now if we run the project again, and if I click on Google login button, we will get the entire data which consists of logged in username, email as well as photo. Now you can store this response inside a state variable and use it to see if the user is logged in or not. Now what I recommend is that use a certain backend language such as node or python and a database such as mongodb or mysql and store the credential inside the database when a user log in for the first time and then authenticate users next time based on the credential. If the credential matches, log in them and store the credential in cookies. Set the expiry time and log out to log out users by simply removing the cookie. I hope you got the point. Finally to create a custom login button, you can use this particular code which is already provided in the official documentation. So just copy paste the code. And here I will replace my custom button with a simple button having login with Google text inside. And I will also provide some basic inline styling to my custom button to make it look somehow better. Now with this you will get the same data as output if you click on the login with google button which you can further use to login and log out users. So currently this is the easiest possible way to integrate google sign in to your custom react application. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need a video on Facebook login next, make sure to comment below.